What's up? Sunday morning, you want pancakes? Of course you do, but you're lazy. You can't make pancakes, that could take ages. I've got the answer for you, French toast. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy. So for our simple French toast recipe, we're gonna need some bread, preferably some you started to eat yesterday and didn't quite finish. That means it's nice and tough, so it doesn't just fall apart when it gets wet. Perfect. A couple large eggs, never buy medium, what's the point? You want some butter, always salted, gives a nice taste. Some milk, you only need a dash of milk, but make sure it's whole milk so it's nice and creamy. If you're on a diet, you know, skimmed, but come on. You want some cinnamon? And you want some vanilla extract, that's very important, gives a lovely flavour. To top mine off, I use maple syrup, because after all these are poor man's pancakes. Wouldn't be complete without them. Obviously you can use blueberries, bananas, strawberries even, but that's fruit and, you know, who wants fruit on their food? So it's a nice easy recipe. We're going to start off by slicing our bread, so I'll clear some of this off, make a bit of space. I'll get my chopping board. I'm going to slice your bread about an inch thick or so. I'm going to add a nice bit of meat to it. If you can slice it straight, that's even better. Not bad. Not quite so good, but that'll do. So I'm going to do two slices per person. Normally I'd have three, but I'm on camera, so, you know, I want to look good. We can pop that to one side now. We're going to get a bowl to mix our eggs in. Naturally, I went for some sort of cake tin, because a bowl would have been too smart. But this will do for now. You'll crack your eggs in there. <laughs> Try to get it all over the table. Don't get any shells in there, unless you want the extra crunch. Uh. So there's two large eggs, if you use a medium you might as well go for three. Obviously if your bread's really thick, it's going to soak up a lot. If you're doing this with Hovis, you won't need so much. I'm going to cover the milk in some egg, naturally. You just want a dash of milk. Two dashes. I'm going to get some cinnamon, I'm going to sprinkle some of that in. I believe the technical amount is some. And then you want a little dash of vanilla extract. That was more than a dash, but that's okay. Now we're going to get our whisk, and if you've uh, got any intelligence, you'll have a proper bowl to whisk this up in. I have not. That's muscle wobbling there, that is. It's not fat. So you just want to beat your eggs so it's all mixed up with the cinnamon and the vanilla. And on the table, brush that in there. Very professional. So once all that's mixed up, we need to get our pan heated up now. I've got a little camping stove, so bear with me. I'll just set that up. These are great little stoves if you're cooking outside. Obviously, if you're a normal human, you can just cook this in the kitchen like everyone else. It's not as impressive, is it? And my kitchen's a bit grotty. We have fire. So you'll take some of your butter and a normal knife, preferably a bread knife. And you want to melt that in the pan. And you don't really want to let it burn. I think let it brown off. Or smoke like this, it's probably not good. All right, you want to take your bread, and you want to dip it in your mix. Try and use a bowl that's big enough for your slice of bread. Make 
make sure your butter doesn't burn, like I said, like I'm doing. Let the mixture drain off so you don't take it all. And pop it in your pan. You should get a nice sizzle. At this point, hunt the whole of the forest to try and find some kitchen towel to wipe your hands off, because they're probably a bit grim now. Kitchen towel acquired. Put that in my pocket. Right, it may take about a minute each side, depending on how hot your pan is. Mine ain't very hot, so it might take a bit longer. Now, if you're doing French toast, it is nice to use slightly stale bread, just because it holds together better. If you're using thinner bread or really soft bread, by the time it's all saturated with the egg mix, it just kind of falls apart. So I like to use a nice chunky bit that's quite tough. Once that's brown on one side, flip it over. We'll lift it up, get that butter to soak in everywhere. That will add to that nice flavour. Like I said, it only takes a couple minutes. That's why this is one of my favourite Sunday morning recipes. You just mix some eggs. I forgot what you even do then. <laughs> you mix some eggs, put some stuff in. You saw what I did, you just watched the video. Put some bread in, you cook it. It's done. It's dead simple. You don't really want to burn it because you'll start to lose that nice flavour. And there we go. First slice. Let your pan cool down, <laughs> if you're like me, and smoking out the whole place. And you want to repeat the process with the other slice. Okay, now that one's done. I'll take that one off and pop it on the plate. It's not quite as pretty. If that can go on the bottom, we'll hide that. Now I'm going to take my maple syrup, which is leaked everywhere, so it's a bit sticky. Tastes good. And drizzle that over. And there we go. The poor man's pancake in all its glory. Wonderful French toast with maple syrup. Can't get better than that on a Sunday morning. Thanks for watching our video today. We get bringing you three more breakfast treats in the next month or so, depending on how lazy we feel. So don't forget to hit subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and like our page. Just search Ain't No Chef. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.